Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversation. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So what I have here are your January mid-month check-ins, yes? January 2019. So because I was working on the six month forecasts for 2019 and I was wanted to get those out before the 1st of January, I wasn't able to do full January readings for the collective. So I am bringing you guys a mid month check in. Uh, this is going to be a normal um, general freestyle reading, uh, just like always. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot and I am using the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah. Um, and so this is just this general normal reading. We are going to be looking at what's going on currently around you since we already in the are already are in the month of January. We're going to be looking at what's currently going on around you and then what could be coming up down the line at the end of the month. So we're looking at for that. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at this from around the 15th to the 31st. Yeah. I want to want to wish a special happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. Very happy birthday to you. We are smack dab in the middle of Capricorn season. I hope you guys are having a great birthday. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We are out of the holiday season now, so we might be going through that, you know, post-holiday funk, uh, the uh, seasonal depression maybe, but I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies are fluid. They could go either way. We could either be talking about you personally, or we could be talking about uh, someone that you're connecting with. Cross watchers, you know, it, take, what it, take it as it resonates. Also, everybody, just take it as it resonates. And again, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me, and I can get that set up for you. Yeah, I believe that's it. Ooh, um, good news. I am back at Om Shanti Bookshop here in, in the East Village of New York City. It is on East 14th Street. That is between 3rd and 4th. No, I'm sorry. That's between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. There it is. Um, but I'm going to be there Fridays now from 11 to 5 p.m. So go ahead and uh, you can give them a call. The email address, I'm sorry, the website is in the description box below. So you can go there, get their phone number, give them a call if you would like to... Uh, uh, book a reading in advance that can happen yeah and actually you know that way you don't have to potentially wait if someone else got in before you yes okay I think that's it so without further ado we're gonna get straight to it yes Aha. hey Sagittarius welcome to your 2019 mid February reading thank you so much for tuning in let's get straight into it shall we hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all involved for mid-January 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so, uh, Sag, I was channeling your energies and... Honestly, I didn't really feel much. And that's not to say that, I, that you're not feeling anything. It's just that there was nothing in there that stood out. I mean, I really feel like you guys are in a very, very good place. I'm hearing jovial, joyous, optimistic, loving life. Even if you've come, I mean, you, I really feel like you came out of 2018 better than most of the other signs. I don't know, you might be able to uh, thank Jupiter for that. Jupiter being your ruling planet. Um, but I just feel like you guys really bounced back really well. Okay. Or at least many of you did. And so now you're kind of in 2019, just kind of going with the flow, chilling, enjoying your life, enjoying the people around you, having a good time with friends and family, you know, just, just taking it all in. Uh, for some of you, it feels like you're, you're, you're taking it all in just just like, okay, well, I know it's not always going to be this fantastic or fabulous, so I'm just going to do what I can now, <laughs> get my fill now. And it's almost like you're, you're joking, but you're not really joking, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> all right, Sag, let's see. One more last shuffle. And then we'll get into it. 
All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what do we have for you? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is that energy of you feeling very content, very secure. Uh, you may be very secure and stable and grounded financially. Um, you may be really focused on just being a mother or a parent. Um, even if you don't really have all that much financially, you're probably just feeling very stable. Um, just feeling very good. Regardless, I just this is a very nurturing energy, okay? There could be an earth sign around you, potentially a Capricorn, or it could also be a Taurus or a Virgo. Um, it could doesn't have to be an earth sign. It could be anyone. But it could be either you embodying this nurturing energy or someone else around you embodying this nurturing energy. You do have the Ten of Wands, though. All right, um... But I feel like you've released all of this already. Yes, you have. Yes, indeed. I was just saying, I feel like you've released all of this already. Um, and that's why you're feeling, you're sitting in this very content energy. And look at what's underneath that. The fool. All right? So you really did a lot of work. What? Good gracious, you guys. Wow. All right. First, so underneath all of that, you have the Ten of Swords. Okay? But I have it's a, I have a little story for you guys now. If you've been watching other re, other like readings, maybe as a cross watcher or um, for other signs in your chart, like for like your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and all that stuff, you have most likely come across this um, this message because this has to be about the fourth time that I've said this, and I powered through. Uh, like uh, a ton of the, I did the, I did three of the zodiac readings yesterday, and I did the rest today. Okay. And last night I pulled um, just some cards for myself, and uh, I took a picture and I started an Instagram um, channel today, and I really wanted to share what came out that picture that I took because uh, the real truth and magnitude of the message. So my first Instagram post is about, uh, well, if you want to follow me, I'm uh, divine underscore conversations on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me there. But this message came through last night of the 10 of wands, the 10 of swords and the fool and it, uh, 444 on the counter. And it was really, um, it was really pertinent for me because I'm very much in this position of releasing the burdens, releasing the toxicity, releasing the pain, the drama, and the backstabbing, and all that shit, and moving forward with the fool, okay? And the way you guys, you guys have to go check out my Instagram page and look at that, um, look at the, the the picture there because the way that it's point, it's the way that it's um, set up is the the fool is here and the two tens are here. Right, and the fool is ain't even looking at the two tens. Okay, it's a little different here, but um, in your spread specifically. But the the other significant thing about this is the 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 number ten ten. Many of has many of us have been seeing this uh, number quite a lot lately, myself included. And so that's also what made it so pertinent last night when I pulled that for myself because I've been seeing 1010 a lot. 1010 is about completions and endings of old cycles and moving on to the new. And coupled with the fool, I mean, that's like a crazy synchronistic, super, super, super relevant message for damn near all of us, 555 on the counter, for damn near all of us right now, right? So it's funny because I saw the 10 of wands and I was like, huh, that's interesting. And then I saw the fool and I was like, Huh, that's really interesting. And I almost started to talk to you guys about it, but I didn't want to ramble on. So I pulled the fool, and the next thing that comes out is the Ten of Swords. And so, of course, cue ramble. <laughs> but this is what you guys are going through right now. And I think what Spirit is saying is that I really uh, is that you guys have surmounted these obstacles much easier, much faster than a lot of many of us have that don't have this Sagittarian energy. I mean, I don't, I, I have maybe one of the major planets in Sagittarius, I think, maybe two. But I have Leo and Aries, lots of Leo and Aries energy. Anyway, anyway, so this is good. So you're sitting pretty, you know, looking real cute and divine, um, sitting on your throne. You don't have to be a woman to embody the Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? You can be a man. These are just energies, not gender, okay? But it's more about the nurturance, the well manifestation, abundant, happy, joyful, just feeling good about life.
okay? First row is going to be um, your current energies in the month. Second row is going to be the energies at the end of the month, all right? So let's get into it. First set of surrounding energies, you've got temperance. There you are, Sagittarius. You are showing right up there for your reading, all right? But you have really come into this state of balance, okay? Or if you haven't actually reached it yet, you're on the way, all right? Temperance is coupled with the King of Wands. So this could absolutely be you. Could also be a Leo, specifically a Leo, because um, that's a fixed sign, uh, fixed energy in the King of Wands, and the fixed fire sign is Leo. But I think, I really think this is you, okay? Um, especially in the face of this new balance, this new alchemy, this new alchemized part of being, way of being, this new alchemized being that you have blossomed into over the past few, over the past few years for some of you, but also over the past few months for a lot of you. Now you're very much in this confident energy. Don't I, I, I'm hearing overly confident, so I guess maybe for some of you, just be careful not to be too overly confident. But you're very confident. You're sure of yourself. You're prideful, probably, maybe. But that's because you're proud of who you've become. Be proud of who you've grown into. You know what you want, and you're not afraid to go after it. This doesn't. I'm not picking up any energies that you're necessarily going after anything right now. But should the opportunity come, you're really not going to hesitate to do so. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies, you've got the Nine of Swords. Where is this coming from? There, oh, okay. And this is for some of you that are like, let me get, let me get my jollies in now because this can't last forever. Well, that's a self-fulfilling prophecy there. All right? Be careful of your thoughts. Don't allow yourself to fall into any sort of doubt or fear. I mean, it, it might happen. It may come up here or there. But do your best to get yourself out of that as quickly as possible, okay? You can, in fact, keep this momentum going. There obviously are going to be times where you're going to need to learn a lesson and whatnot. But you can keep this momentum going, okay? Nine of Swords is coupled with... Ooh, the Three of Swords. Some of you are very much afraid of this energy, this heartbreak circling back. But instead of focusing on that in, in the sense of focusing on what it is you don't want and fear that it may come back, instead continue to focus on what you do want. All right? Because the more you focus on what you want, regardless of whether you're actively saying to the universe, I don't want this, I don't want this. Keep in mind, the universe doesn't really work with words that much. The more you focus on something, the more you of it, the more of it you attract towards yourself. So if you don't want this, this heartbreaking energy to circle back, stop thinking about it. Stop expecting it to come around on every turn or, or around, around every corner. You know what I mean? Your challenge in this current energy, Sagittarius, you've got the seven of wands. Maintaining boundaries, yeah, keeping them up. Keeping your boundaries up. You may also have to redefine your your boundaries. For some of you, I'm hearing that you're you're you've been hanging out with a certain social circle that is now might be starting to become toxic. In a way, like they're just in in they're just down for a good time, bro. Like that kind. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody, but that's kind of what that that's what I was hearing for some of you. Okay, seven of wands is coupled with. Four of Pentacles, 11, 11 on the counter. Um, stand your ground. I don't know who some of you are interacting with now. I feel like it might be a, a new group potentially, but you're needing, to, in some way you're needing to put your foot down. Stand your ground. Hold your ground. Okay. For others of you, this is this this still applies, but um, it applies in the fact that don't you know don't allow someone to come in and disturb your peace. Yes. The f closing message for this part, or at least the uh, potential outcome here in your current energies, you've got Eight of Cups, moving away from something. All right. And oddly enough, I feel like I feel like some of you may have fallen into a new group, a new social circle 
that felt good at the time, that was aligned with you when at the moment that you met them, but now through all of this growth that you've been doing, you're needing to potentially pull away and go in a different direction, walk away from them. Because I feel like it might be becoming toxic, which is why you're needing to put up some, some firmer boundaries. But in essence, what this is telling, what this is teaching you in this new phase of your life is where your boundaries need to be to continue to maintain this momentum, okay? And so it's not a bad thing at all. Eight of Cups is coupled with, yeah, the Knight of Swords. You guys are some, for some of you, you're needing to lay down the law in some way, communicate about something. Somebody may have done something that you don't quite appreciate. Somebody may have, I don't know, somebody may, might do that still. Um, I just feel a strong, I'm hearing an argument. I kind of want to say an argument, but there's a strong potential for a serious conversation that could lead to the parting of ways or a conversation that will facilitate the parting of ways, okay? But again, I don't feel like this is a bad thing. In your upcoming energy for the end of the month, starting with your first set of surrounding energies, you got the hanged man. Could be dealing with a Pisces. So you might be going into a little bit of a hermit mode, um, or you might be stuck. For some reason, I'm getting, for some of you, this, this social circle here, or whatever this, this circle is, you, it's like you can't necessarily move away so quickly, for some of you. Or you're waiting it out to see, to just to really make sure. Could bring you enlightenment. The hanged man is coupled with the Ten of Cups. Wow. I mean, all of it, all of this, and it's so funny because this is what I was going to say before. The Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, you know, and the Fool is all, you're starting on something new. So you're having to learn the lessons to understand where your boundaries lie in this new situation, okay? In this new vibration that you're in. And so any sort of stagnant energy you might be feeling, might be feeling any sort of stuckness you might be feeling, um, or any sort of uh, uh, pause you're putting on making, a, a walking away from something or something like that is bringing you, bringing you the enlightenment to help you understand a greater, how do you go about continuing this 10 of cups momentum, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius, you've got, ah, the six of cups, soulmate energy, the past nostalgia, or maybe just even children. Some of you might have children or some of you might be wanting children. And this major completion that you're going through right now and the new cycle you're starting could be in the way of um, preparing to have children for some of you. Six of Cups is coupled with the Five of Wands. There's conflict though. Now, also this friend circle that I've been picking up on, it could be something from the past maybe your childhood or maybe just like the recent past or the not too distant past, whatever. I mean, this could be anything from best friends when you were kids to college, uh, college friends to old coworkers, whatever, whatever this, however this resonates with you. Um, I feel like you're feeling the burn when it comes to spending time with these people, but you're conflicted about it because these are friends. You don't quite know what to do, okay? Because this also, this also could bring you happiness, but be careful not to slip back into the past that you have worked so hard to grow out of, okay? Your challenge at the end of the month, you have four of swords needing to rest. And I feel like this is probably something, this just feels like it, it, it's a, ch a chore, a real challenge for you, Sagittarius, to really, sit down, sit down, shut up, and just listen. Stop moving for a minute. And just observe, right? You have two fours in your challenge section, four of pentacles and the four of swords. The four of swords is coupled with Hmm, the three of wands. And this, uh, this card is leading me to ask, hmm, 
Where is this going? Especially in relation to the Four of Swords here. Wait a second. Where's this going? Where is this leading me to? What am I investing into here? Oh God, I don't know. What is this? I don't know if I want to invest in this. Wait a second. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Closing message for you, Sagittarius, or the potential outcome for the end of the month, you have Four of Cups. Boredom. I don't know if I want to be a part of this anymore, says the Four of Cups. So whereas you were holding on to this situation for dear life and needing to, and needing to let go of it and needing to place stronger boundaries, in place you're coming out at the end of it with contemplating oh shit do i really need to oh shit where are we going with this where is this leading me and, wow we really could be talking about a social circle here because look at that the three of cups that's a social that the social the three of cups is the social atmosphere right you're bored of it. You're tired of it. It might be draining you. And so the universe offers you that Ace of Cups. There goes that lesson in self-love again. Four of Cups is coupled with the sun. Well, that's excellent. The sun is talking about illumination here. So finally seeing something clearly. Potentially finally seeing something for what it truly is. Now, all of this could be part of the process of closing out these old cycles and moving on to something new. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, The Fool. And then you also got the Ten of Cups here. This is what you're wanting to be moving towards, all right? So whatever we're talking about here, whatever needs to be cut out of your life or whatever you need to move away from, walk away from, this experience that you're having is all leading to learning about what it is you truly want and how to get there. Okay. All right. So let's get into your Oracle section now for Sagittarius, my Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for mid January, 2019. Let me give you guys one more shuffle here, Sagittarius, and then we'll see what we got. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. Best message, please, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this mid-January reading. Ooh. Wow. My ear just started ringing like crazy. Okay. Let's try this again. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid-January when, there it is. All right. Underneath the deck, you have expansion. Beautiful. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. Well, I like that. And then finally, you have... Wow. Uh, this came out for Scorpio. And another reading, another sign. I don't remember which one. But growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. And like I said, in the, for, the, uh, for one of the other ones that it came out for, be willing to learn from the experience with others. Okay? You don't have to do everything on your own. You can allow the people around you to teach you. And you can do that by just observing, Sag. Look at that. Four of Swords. Just observe. All right. So there you have it, Sag. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you would like a, uh, a personal reading with me, go ahead and shoot me an email and I will get you all set up. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again soon for the month of February. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.